Hello YouTubers, this is SDJR7F88 speaking with the results from my competition. Now as you probably guessed from the title, uh, Brazil 2044 was the closest and he got two out of the three but technically he did get three out of three of the wagons. Um, he did guess that the first wagon, uh, the shock exorbitant wagon, was in fact this one here. Um, shock exorbitant uh, open wagon, excuse the reflection uh, on the boxes. Um, most of you said it was a van but uh, Brazil was the only one to guess what the most um, the odd one out of the three wagons because two of them were box vans and one of them was an open van and he guessed correctly and got the open van. He then um, guessed that the one well, of the weathered wagons was in fact uh, a weathered cattle wagon as you can see here and uh, so he got that one correct as well and uh, the third one he said was a brake van I did say specifically um, um, I did say to him um, what, can you specify what type it was but uh, I did get a reply for, to that so uh, but um, it was one of two it was bound to be one of two because um, in the catalogue there's only two weathered brake vans anyway and it's the BR20 ton which also I have um, British Rail one and then there's the GWR Toad in British Rail Weather Delivery, which is the one that I got at the Blair Valley Railway, as you can see from the receipt here. Uh, but yeah, uh, so thank I, I want to say special thank you to Brazil 2044 for um, winning the competition. But I also want to say a big thank you to everybody who entered, as it was quite a tricky competition, as uh, there was a wide variety of results. So um, <laughs> there were a lot of wagons on the market. I didn't realise I didn't uh, how hard some of my um, clues were but uh, Brazil got it in the end uh, two out of three but basically you just, just say three out of three because technically you did get it correct in a way but uh, there you go so uh, special thanks to Brazil 2044 and uh, now in one of my previous videos where I did a, a look about uh, you know uh, I talked about the layout basically did four separate videos showing each corner of the layout and stuff I also men I mentioned in one of the videos, I think it was in part two, about a hippie camp being on top of here. And many of you were very interested in what, hi were very excited about me putting a, hip a hippie, ca uh, hippie camp up there. And wanted to see the vehicles. So here we go. And this is my hippie camper van. As you can see it's pink and it says peace on the side of it. And on the other side of it I've got a funny feeling, it says flower power. So it's very hippie like in all of its... Uh, sort of like rainbow colours on there if you could just make it out through the box because sorry it's inside one of those plastic boxes fig they are so yeah it's very very bright and vibrant another camper van as well i got is that one down there same type uh, but it's uh, lime well lemon yellow lemon yellow with um, a white roof and here's a few other of my vehicles a uh, few other vehicles i got here you got a tractor trailer set uh, Irish green, well, not sure what it's pronounced, but a green Ferguson, red Fortin Major, um, a Bristol bus, which uh, went to Bath, which is where Bath Green Park Station is too, so that was a good connection. Um, a box there, which is a bit damaged from post from the post, uh, but there's a red Ferguson in there. There's a, I forgot what type of car it is, but um, apparently my gramp used to own one. Uh, also, I've got um, RAF ambulance, which came free with my one of my Hornby Collectors Club things. So uh, that was very exciting. I didn't even know it was in the parcel. So yeah, that's about it. So uh, thank you to everybody who's watching my channel over the uh, past few months. And uh, let's just uh, hope you like all my uh, new videos, which I'll be uploading soon. And. Uh, I'll say it again, but a special thanks to Brazil2044 for winning the competition. Um, so uh, that's about it. Uh, this has been SDGR7F88 speaking, and thanks for watching.